Safety barriers are really important on regional roads because in order to protect cars from running off and rolling over or hitting trees or poles, we need to protect the sides of the road. Centreline barriers are also critical because it's a very severe crash to run across the centre line and hit an oncoming car. We can't guarantee that people won't be fatigued or they won't make mistakes when they're driving. They can make that mistake and they're not killed or seriously injured as a result of it. So they're a really valuable addition to, the, to country roads throughout Victoria. What we're doing with the Territory is we want to measure three things mainly. We're looking at the accelerations experienced by the car during the impact with the barrier. Also what we're doing is we're putting an accelerometer on the, the helmet of the driver. This gives us a unique opportunity to measure the forces on somebody when they're in a, a real barrier impact. So it'll be very useful. The other thing that we're looking at are the, the forces on the wire rope during the impact as well. It happens at seven degrees, which is what typical fatigue related crashes are. And no one's really collected data on that. And furthermore, no one's collected this sort of information with somebody in the car driving it into the barrier. So it's a really valuable research opportunity. The crash has just happened and I'm pretty pleased. I think it worked exactly as we expected it to. As it ran along the wires, the wires stopped the car from moving too far to the right towards the other side of the road. And as the posts are being, being destroyed by the car, the, the vehicle's losing momentum and the, and the kinetic energy, the energy of the vehicle is being dissipated into the damaging those posts. And what that does is it means that you're returning the vehicle to the road in a, in a progressive and controlled manner, but at the same time you're slowing it down so that when the driver wakes up or the driver is able to take control and brake, there's relatively low speeds that they have to cope with and to bring the vehicle to a rest in a safe way. We've captured a lot of um, really good high speed vision and we've got some data from the driver and the vehicle and also from the, the tension of the wire rope during the, the impact with the barrier. And we're hoping that this information will be used to better understand how the vehicle interacts with the barrier and that could even help with future barrier design as well.